Robin. I'm Mike. And we're the organisers of Draw the Line. Well, five years ago we were introduced by a mutual friend and um, really we both always enjoyed drawing outside of the studio, in public places, drawing just things that we saw around us, a lot of the time in bars as well. So really the idea was get together and draw together. Yeah, like mates and I, we'd always be out in bars with our sketch pads, we'd just kind of doodle in a way. Uh, the idea was, like, instead of being like, you know, in your own little world, in your pad, it was like, well, let's all draw together on the table. We kind of thought maybe other people would want to draw in bars as well. Everyone always seemed quite interested in what we were drawing, so maybe they wanted to do something as well. Um, so that's where the idea came about. We started out with just really big posters that we just had lying around in the bar, put them down, and then from there it grew and grew, more people got interested. From that we got um, more people who were really interested in illustration, tattooing, um, various different art forms all coming down and producing different kinds of artwork that would all kind of mix together as part of the night. Yeah, and it's not just, um, I mean, I suppose artists are instantly like attracted to a bunch of people sat down drawing, and we do attract quite a lot of uh, professionals, like people from John Moore's University or people working in the city. But the great thing about it then is, you know, as soon as just general, everyday, drinkers in the bar see people sat down having a doodle like uh, due to the open nature of it like it's very accessible they want to come over see what you're doing and then they're free to join in really and that's kind of the spirit of draw the line it's not aimed at artists and just for artists where there's like a level of uh, quality that you you have to be able to draw or whatever it's it's kind of like no everybody just sit down, draw, and draw together, like all on the same canvas. Yeah, and you'll get some people coming down, maybe sitting down for a couple of hours, then leaving. Then another group of people come down and they might start colouring in that other person's drawing or adding other little bits to it. And before you know it, you've kind of got something that not one, or an idea that not one person would have come up with. It's kind of a collaborative idea that as it grows and grows throughout the night, you get more and more weird little collaborative ideas. And as People come later on, some people just write their names down, other people colour things in. Just, it's a mix really. As Robin said, like, the great thing is like someone could have drawn something, moved on to somewhere else, you can even go to another table and work there. Someone new comes, takes their seat, they might not want to do their own drawing, but there's a coloured pen there, they're more than happy to sit down and just colour in that somebody else has done. And I'm, like, I'm always surprised at the number of times that people say, oh, I haven't drawn for ages, I haven't drawn since I was a kid and they start to re-engage with that, they get back into it just from this night and then they might come back another time with a sketchbook as well and show us pictures that they've done in between this night and the last night. So we've been doing this event for over five years now and uh, I mean although it's quite ephemeral to a degree and like quite pulpy in its nature, people come down and do a drawer and then you know they'll go off and carry on with their night somewhere else. Uh, we keep the sheets of paper and we've been storing these things I mean, we do an event once a month, so it's at least 12 events a year. I mean, sometimes we do two, and we've been doing it for five years. So, I mean, we've got reams and reams of paper which we've kept. Uh, and the, the Light Night John Moore's University uh, event, which we did, it was a great opportunity for us to get five years of work out and put it up on the wall. And I mean, we covered the place. <laughs> yeah, we really did wallpaper this thing from uh, ceiling to, to roof. And it was just great being able you know, to see over the years what people have come, come up with really, you know, from the everyman to the artist. All right, you can find us online at www.drawbeonline.com and we're also on Twitter at DrawTheLine. That's www.drawtheonline.com. <laughs> Sounds like we're doing a car advert or something. <laughs>